Hi, welcome to Exam Solutions, and today we're going to discuss how we form our predicted papers and have a little look at one question in a bit more detail. Well, for starters, we have many long, boring spreadsheets accumulating data over the past several years. Our questions are chosen based on how often these topics come up and also how many marks have been applied to them when looking at past data. Our questions are original, which allows us to adapt and format their level according to exam board. Within the questions we create, we aim to cover the breadth of a topic. Our predicted papers stick to the assessment objectives of each exam board and like to cover the questions that have been picked up in examiners' reports as those causing issues for students in the past. Today we're going to be looking at a circles A-level question. Here we can see it on both the Edexcel and AQA paper. Notice how the layout for each is quite different. And so now we're going to look at the Edexcel in a bit more detail to see why we've chosen this question and how the history of this question has influenced our prediction. And so the first part of our circle question, we're given an equation. It has an unknown value a within it, where a is an integer to be found. We are given a point on this circle. And so we have the information here to be able to identify a. And so our first marks are for finding the value of a and the coordinates of the center of the circle. Now the idea of understanding the equation of a circle that we get from completing the square are essential skills. And in fact, the equation of a circle is what we would deem a must have question. If we look through the past 2023, using the equation of a circle, 22, equation of a circle, 21, equation of a circle. In 2020, we again have the equation of a circle we need to work with. 2019, again, we need to understand the equation of the circle. And 2018, we need to understand the equation for the circle. One thing to note is that our predictions are more about the technique than the actual question itself. Is this going to be the precise wording of the question in 2024? Probably not. Are these techniques going to be required? We certainly think so. In terms of mark distribution, three is quite typically given for this type of question. Normally one for the center and this question involving the unknown usually uses up the two marks. If you look historically, 2023, three marks. 22, three marks. In 21, there was four marks. However, this is due to the case of the simplified CERD. So that would be the extra step in your calculation, which would get you an extra mark that year. And so where do we get part B? Part B, T is the tangent to the circle at P. H is another tangent to the circle, which is parallel to T. Find an equation of H giving your answer in the form ax plus by plus c is equal to zero, where a, b, and c are integers. Looking historically, the second part of a circle question will usually involve some form of equation of a line, either looking at perpendiculars, tangents, points of intersection, etc. We can see this in 23, a line intersecting, 21, a line tangent. In 20, intersection of circles. 2019, again, circle intersection. And 2018, a tangent. In our question on 2024, the reason we've chosen this for part B is that a tangent perpendicular to the radius is a concept which hasn't come up since 2018. And so it's our belief that that concept is likely to come up again. In addition to its likelihood of appearance, the other thing we like to do with our predicted papers is give you the tools to answer questions in a more constructive way. It was noted in 2021, when the term tangent was last used, that many students jumped to substitution into the discriminant 
which led to a highly complicated equation, seeing many students at that point give up. We have specifically provided a solution to part B that removes that complication, hence dealing with the errors students in the past have encountered. It's important to us at Exam Solutions that these predicted papers aren't assessments of your learning, but assessments for your learning. Which means we hope when you finish one of our predicted papers, you've gained that extra bit of knowledge to help you your next time round. Of course, this level of attention is given to each question within the papers we create. And we do hope you'd agree with us that these are the techniques and skills you need to best prepare yourself for whatever 2024 throws at you, however they word it. You can explore more questions like this on our website.